Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite interviewer here today. We're at our local flying field. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing the difference in sound at different altitudes between the Mavic and the Inspire 2. Now, I know you guys are thinking, why are you doing this? We already know that the Inspire, much larger, is going to produce a much greater noise. But we have a few tools that we're going to test out how much more noise it produces than the Mavic and why when you're flying in residential areas, why the Mavic may be more beneficial to you in staying low key and not being detected than flying the big Inspire around. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna be starting with the Mavic first. Really small, should be very quiet. This sound meter here, we're gonna test it without anything in the air first so that we kind of get a baseline and we're gonna see how much more noise or how much additional noise these drones create when they're in the air at different altitudes. I think we're gonna go for 25, 50, and 100 feet. That should give us a pretty good idea of the noise levels at each altitude that these drones create. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take a baseline of the noise prior to the Mavic's flight. So we're going to call it around 43. 43 decibels. Let's go ahead and take off and we're going to come to a hover about 25 feet and we're going to see how how noisy it gets. Okay. In the center here it says the height is nine and a half feet, so I'll go ahead and raise it up to 25 feet. And we can clear above us so we go ahead and over it. Okay, so that's a noticeable increase. We'll call it 56 decibels at 25 feet. At 25 feet we we're at 56 decibels. So let's see where we're at here at 50 feet. We'll call that 52 decibels. All right, so we're at 50 feet. Now we're going to go up to 100 feet. All right. So 50 feet, it was around 52 decibels. 25 feet, it was 56 decibels. And let's see where we're at at 100 feet. 100 feet on the height indicator in the app. We'll wait for these vehicles to pass. We're at 100 feet. It's sitting about 45 and a half decibels at 100 feet, so it's fairly quiet. If you're in a crowded neighborhood with vehicles passing you all the time, you wouldn't be able to hear this. So that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So let's uh, let's switch over. Let's go to the Inspire and see differences in sound. Okay, now we have the Inspire that we are going to do the sound test. 25, 50, and 100 feet. Let's go ahead and get our baseline without without a drone in the sky. Okay, I think we'll call it about 41, just to be on the safe side. We're at 25 feet, we're recording. Now let's see. Call that 68. Let's take her up to 50 feet.
Call that about 65 and a half. Uh, let's go up to 100. So we're at 100 feet. And we'll call it 55 and a half. So as you notice, clearly the Inspire is much more noisy. You're not gonna sneak up on anybody with this. It's fun to fly. It's at 100 feet. I can hear it well above what I did the Mavic. The Mavic was a subtle drone. Like a, you could definitely hear the the props turn and everything, but this is definitely whipping some air around. Let's go ahead and bring it down and let's compare notes.